Welcome back guys to my channel that boy super slow don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and don't forget to drop a comment down below I'd highly appreciate it it helps us know we're making progress we're getting to viewers out and welcome to the viewers that do not follow me on Instagram go ahead and follow me at that boy super slow same as my, my YouTube so today guys we are officially five days away from Trocando in the Bay unfortunately I will not be taking the Trailblazer SS out there because the transmission is still out I believe I want to say a week now. It's all good, but hey, I went ahead and purchased me a new toy this weekend, and this is what we're going to be riding in, guys. Stick around so you guys can see the review of the single cab that I purchased. Still going to go to the event. It's just that that truck's not going to be the one attending the show. This is pretty much just going to be a vlog slash my new single cab project. Drop a comment down below on what do you think I caught and what kind of single cab I got. Do you think it's a Ford? Do you think it's a Honda? Do you think it's a Toyota? It's a Chevrolet? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think before you watch the whole thing. I had got off work and I was pretty much just surfing the Facebook market. Search up a single cab but in this make and model and just like that manifested it she popped right up i instantly messaged the seller as soon as i seen it he replied within i want to say 10 minutes i asked him for all the information about the truck he was located in antioch california i was still in the bay area and i got there i test drove it we got on the highway i checked he was an older fella he uh the reason he was selling it was because he said he had too many cars which he did he had four different cars and he had also had a, a broken a broken ankle or dislocated ankle he said he had fell off his dirt bike he said it was gonna take a minute for him to get back to his uh his self so he didn't really want the truck this it is a race truck but i'll get to that part later yeah he didn't really want to deal with it because he said he couldn't let his ankle heal if he was gonna hop in and out and i understood him from his point of view willing to let it go deal deal hey it's better than paying what what everybody else is charging 14 15 i mean in my opinion if you got the money, one, it's come and go, you know, but I mean, this right here, hell yeah. I actually bought this truck for you guys to create content with it. This video is going to help the whole page grow because who doesn't like to watch content of projects being built and especially single cabs, you know. I do have a vision for this truck already. I get later into the video, I will ask what will be your guys' opinion. You can probably comment down below and let me know on your thoughts on the ifs and don'ts on the on the ideas that i got going on you're gonna have to go ahead and watch until the end but like i said i i pretty much have a full set vision for this single caps you guys always for the support thank you for the comments thank you for the like let's go guys let's get to channel to 50 subscribers from 50 to 100 that is the goal right now but right now we're gonna keep it realistic so let's get this channel to 50 subscribers if we reach 50 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway and it will be worthy. Worthy. So all my people that have cars, just know that it'll be worth watching. I mean, who doesn't love giveaways? Stick around, I'll go over the details on what I will be giving away. Trailblazer is still under the knife. But for now, this little toy right here is going to be the one that's going to attend the show. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this video started. So I'm actually gonna go pick up my girl. We are expecting my second son. She is in the hospital right now. So I'm gonna go back. We have a strong feeling that he's gonna be born tonight. 95% that he's gonna come tonight. So I'm just gonna be recording like a little bit of me in the hospital. I'm gonna head out to the hospital. Probably get like a little bit of of content just because I know that they don't really like that. You're recording in there. So I'm not really gonna push the issue a day in my life. went good thank god our second baby boy was born 
on August 16th at 11.43. I'm really grateful for him being here with us. Gotta be thankful. Two boys. I'm gonna get some essentials that my girl needs for back at the hospital. I am gonna change. I ended up sleeping there last night. Oh my God, guys. Not, not comfortable at all. At first, yeah, they had like a little couch that pulled out. And I was like, all right, cool, it's pretty neat. But uh, within an hour of just laying in it, my whole body sank in and uh, it was painful, but we pulled through it. It's the next day. On the way to the house. Stay tuned to reveal the single cab price comment down below. Chevrolet, Ford, Toyota, Honda, Dodge. What is it, guys? Comment down below on your opinion. I want to see if some of you guys are going to guess it right. So it's the next day, guys. I'm on my way to Target. I'm about to go pick up our baby's crib that we ordered online. So it should just be a quick snatch and grab. And after the Target run, we'll be going over the review of the truck. Give you guys the whole layout, plan, the vision. Break it down for you guys. You guys get a better understanding of what I'm referring to. Damn, that's a lot of traffic. Cuz are out today. Guys, I'm finally done running the errands. Finally revealed the truck to you guys. But make sure to comment down below. You guys ready? Here you guys are. So guys, I did go ahead and purchase a 2007 Dodge Ram Hemi 5.7. It's something different, you know. I did mention yesterday that I had plans for the truck. For the moment, it is lifted. It might not, it might not look lifted, but once you go ahead and, and, and hop in, you gotta go ahead and use the hole, you know, to help you get up. And is to either buy the whole SRT 10 uh, kit and make it into an SRT 10 clone or actually buy some bigger tires for this truck and leave it raised and actually get some size tests for it. Maybe a, a light on top. I don't know guys, but like I said, originally my plan is to get a SRT 10 clone out of this truck. But I mean, like I said, it is lifted. I never owned a lifted truck, so it does ride pretty smooth. I do like it, it's pretty comfortable. The whole cab is pretty, it's huge. I give them a solid nine out of 10 just because he did mention that it has some the aftermarket deck. I'll probably switch it out for the one I have currently installed in the Trailblazer. Just because on that one I'm able to uh, play DVDs and if I have my son right in here in the middle with me, he's uh, he really would enjoy it because it's right at his screen view. So I'll probably take this out. Um, I am going to go ahead and upgrade my speakers. They're eventually going to get blown out just because I know they're stock. Well, at least I think they're stock. Once I take them off, we'll see what they are back there, but they're pretty solid. The center console does lift up, so it does give you a three-seater just in case you have to ride with the whole family. This is pretty cool. It has a little storage down here. I need to detail all this. It did come with the kicker speaker. You see it has uh, room for storage in the back. I'll probably be upgrading this too to probably double sided so you know it gets the base um, leveled out on both passenger and driver side. Let's check out the exterior now. I am missing a bed liner. I'll most likely just take them off because I prefer no bed liner on top right here. Give it that smooth texture. It also comes with the little window in the back. That's a plus right there. I'll likely just end up swapping these out for the original ones to give it that OEM look. The paint job on it is not that bad. Uh, I probably will get it redone. I do not plan on keeping it lifted. I will purchase some concave Jeep SRT tents. It gives me vibes to my Trailblazer because Trailblazers do have a pretty fat front lip. And this one as well, as you can see. If you guys noticed, but I don't have tint on this window and I do have tint on this window. Owner said that somebody broke into the truck and stole his phone that he was charging right there. So I am going to get that window tinted. The plan is to, I guess, start modding it today and add the strip right here just because it is getting hot. We are up next. No more fishbowl on one side. Backup camera. That is one of the mods I do plan to do. 
speaking about mods guys I do have I believe six mods that I am planning to do on the ramp crystal clear headlight I'm going to give it a paint job all black murder out again jet black will be replacing the stereo place all the interior lights and exterior lights with LEDs go ahead and take the panels off and paint them all black that way it gives it more of an aggressive look from the end yeah. and number six is I'll probably be installing a sunroof that is six miles that this truck is going to get well I wasn't planning on getting this one retinted but if you see there see that little dot I want it to tear eventually so I'm gonna just get it rewrapped all the way around That's new. Way better. I got something in my eyes. First mod out the way. 5% all around. And with the AC blowing, ooh, it gets chilly chilling here now. Next list on the mod is I'm gonna go with the headlights, get them crisp and clear. Do have residue on top, especially the passenger side. It is looking kind of funky. The guy did offer me to go ahead and restore them, but honestly, I'd rather just buy them brand new. Period. Or you know what? Matter of fact, I'll probably get the headlights after I get the paint job, just because I don't want the whole truck to have its look like it's brand new. You know, like if it's been damn near the factory look. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Should I slam it? Should I leave it raised? Should I buy some off-road tires? Should I buy some Forgiato? I don't know. What do you guys recommend? A Trailblazer is dropped. It's not slammed, but it is dropped, so that's why I was telling myself, you know what? I might just keep this the way it is, lifted, and the Trailblazer, well, that's the SUV that's gonna be damn near, not slammed, but, you know, more lower, just because of the whole weight of it being heavier. So as you guys seen, the place is called Stereo Base. I do recommend them. The guy that did the work, his name is Carlos. He's an older fella. He does pretty good, good quality work, guys. Clearly from the video, you've seen the details that he puts into it. did a A1 job. I'm really satisfied. The tank came out looking pretty fresh. Actually, you guys, second mod, I'll probably just uh, is replacing these lights with LEDs all around. This truck is ridiculous big, guys. I don't know. You guys just have to buy one. See for yourself of, of what I'm talking about. They're spacious. Hella spacious. That's pretty much it for the vlog, guys. Thank you for watching till the end. Thank you for supporting. Remember to always like, subscribe, and give me a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so that way you get notified whenever I do drop my next video, which is gonna be soon for Turkenda in the Bay. It's gonna be a second vlog. Uh, it's not really gonna be a build what we're really focusing on this channel. It's just content to get out there. Meanwhile, the Trailblazers gets uh, delivered. At least we have another truck so we could do it and mod on the way. While we wait for the other truck. Remember to follow me on Instagram at that boy super slow. And I'll catch you guys next time.